Hey there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, know when to lead and know when to follow. Or as I, I believe it was uh, Kenny Rogers who said, you got to know when to hold them. Hmm. Know when to fold them. All right, I'll stop singing. But you get the point. You got to know when to lead and you got to know when to follow. And in life, we're going to do both. First, let's follow. Why? Because we need to follow in order to learn what we need to learn. Example, in my business, we hire people and we tell them, listen, pay attention, listen to everything that we're teaching you to do, implement it, keep implementing it, keep going back and improving on it, and then once you've nailed this thing, now you're ready to lead others. You see, great leaders are first great followers. You can't be a great leader unless you're a great follower first. Who do you follow? Those who are successful, those who know what they're talking about, those who have gone before you and have figured it all out, those who have run into those traps that you and I will run into. They can help us. So you got to know when to follow and know when to lead. You follow when you don't know what you're doing and you're not an expert at it. Whether it's your personal life, in relationships, whether it's your professional life and career, whether it's your exercise program, your eating habits, whatever it is, we've got to follow people who know what they're doing. Once we follow and we've mastered it, now we can go and lead others. Simple message. Know when to lead, know when to follow. Follow when you don't know what you're talking about and you don't know what you're doing and you're not an expert, lead when you become that expert and you know what you're doing. Do this, you'll be living your best life. Know when to lead, know when to follow, make sure you're doing both. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, bye-bye. If you know someone you feel has a special story to tell or life to share, please email Eric directly and he will reach out to you and or this individual, even if you think this person is you. And by the way, if you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?